Rocket Pilots. Uh, this is co-pilot John here. Uh, welcome to a, another sunny day in sunny Southern California. And here in front of me, I have the super duper fast F-18 Super Hornet. This thing is unbelievable. You guys are just gonna flip out, man. I'm gonna get six of these just so I can practice. And it's got all these missiles on it, and bombs, and it's really, really fast. Um, it's got two. It's got two motors in it, and it's got lots of um, uh, ailerons and rudders, and uh, it's very scale, you know, because it's like it looks real, okay. Um, and it's got servos. It's got a bunch of servos, and they control and move things like this will move it's not moving now um, I probably shouldn't touch this but oh oh this is cool look <laughs> it's got shocks look at that it's got this thing could totally go off-roading man you could throw this in your backpack if you were like mountain biking or something or you went skiing bring it with you you know what I mean or bring it on a barbecue you're with the family you go to the beach and you're like Let's fly an F-18 today, honey. Whoop, boom, bring it out. I mean, this is a, a crowd pleaser, you know what I mean? And talk about getting chicks to come up to you. A chick sees you flying this thing, they're gonna be like, oh my God, is that an F-18? That's so sweet. <laughs> so let me show you the insides. Um, there's some batteries in here. I'm not sure how it opens, but there's... Um... What's going on, John? Pete. Yeah. Hey, um... I was just, I was just, I was just watching this for you. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's good. I'm, I watched it. Thanks, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So. Um, cool. I'll take it from here. You got that? Big fan. Thank you. I appreciate it. I watch all your videos. Thanks, John. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. Bye, Pete. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later, John. What's going on, pilots? I'll take it from here. This is Pete with BananaHobby.com. Thank you guys for joining me through the sunny skies of Southern California for this flight review. This is our ultimate FA-18 Super Hornet, something we've been working on for quite some time now. There are so many attributes to this aircraft that I can't even begin to break this down for you in one video. So I'm going to do the best I can and give you guys a, uh, a rundown of what's going on here with this aircraft and how it functions and a few of the, the things that go along with this aircraft. First of all, it's a twin 70 millimeter EDF jet aircraft. So there's two of them, two 70 millimeters in there. The KVs of the motor of the brushless outrunners are 2100 KV each, powered by twin 50 amp brushless ESCs. This aircraft is on our top end list where the uh, electronics that we're using in here is extremely, extremely higher end now. So there's no issues or anything like that. And uh, it's just a really, really scale looking aircraft. I know there's going to be some attention to the folding wings and people wanting to know how the folding wings work. I'm going to go ahead and go into that a little bit as well. Just so you guys know, there are full carbon spars in these wings now. And the wingtips are full carbon sparred as well. And there's a secondary carbon spar that's powered by a servo that's on a spring unit that's going to go, that's going to be inserted into the carbon spar that's on the wingtips. So believe it or not, the rigidity and the strength of this main wing is actually even stronger than just having one full carbon spar. Either way, it's a really, really strong system. So there's no issues right there. And the folding wings here operates on a PCB board. And the PCB board basically is a computer uh, program board that's going to control your swivel of the uh, of the main rod, the locking mechanism for the main wings, and then it's going to control the delayed reaction in the main wings as they fold down. Other than that, uh, pretty much flies on your four channel setup, which is your basically your elevators, your ailerons, your rudders, and your steerable nose wheel, and um, however and throttle. However, on this aircraft, we haven't set it up for for uh, delta wing mixing. So basically the tail and the main wings are doing the same thing. You have flaps running, leading edge spoilers, and uh, opening canopy, and full 360 degree thrust vectoring in the back as well. We're gonna try to keep the flights today a little bit lighter, just because we're having a really bad wind day. It's a pretty crosswind down the runway over here, but we're gonna go ahead and review this thing for you anyway. Other than that, the retracts on this system here are completely their scale and they are metal. 
as you can see here, they're, it's just a really nice system. And they fold back as soon as you hit the, hit the runway there, they fold back. And these are metal now with C-clips in it, so it's extremely strong. And uh, I just really, really like the system. The power plant that's in here is the same power plant, um, tweaked out a little bit with a little bit different electronics that's in the A-10 and uh, the MiG-29 and uh, the F-22 Raptor as well. This is working with Blitz RFC Works in conjunction with uh, LX models. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and fire her up here. If you choose to fly it on your own radio system, uh, minimum channels is gonna be nine. And that's if you run your thrust vectoring, and your 360 degree thrust vectoring together with all your control surfaces. I have it on switches where it's turned off, so I'm running it on a 12 channel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fire her up here and get the canopy off here. The battery setup in this is flying on 6S, however, they are two 3S packs, two 3S 3300 to 3600 packs um, in series, so it's running on 6S this way. That's just to uh, save down on weight a little bit and also to keep the cost down a little bit with uh, two saddle packs instead of having one big bulk pack, one big uh, brick pack. Let's go and fire up here. Just remember when you plug it in well, on a 6S pack, it's going to spark. The sparks are always normal, so don't pay any attention to that. Oh, she's plugged in here. We have the motors initializing. Okay, I'm gonna cut this away here. All right. Okay, we're pretty much set here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wing fold down mechanism. I have it on a switch here. So when I switch the one switch, the PCB board will basically take over. And what it's gonna do is it's going to bring the wings down and then there's a delay in it before it, it uh, the locking mechanism actually engages. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wings down here. There we go. And you'll hear it. And that sound right there is the servo releasing the mechanism that's gonna lock the wings in place. Once the wings are locked in place, it's a full carbon rod. It's, it's a carbon sleeve on this side, and then it's a carbon rod over here that's inserting from a secondary carbon rod into this carbon rod, so it's one full piece, so it's extremely rigid. And then right now we have your elevator set up, and your aileron. And uh, pretty much, that is the just of the control surfaces. And over here, we have the opening canopy on a different switch, which, you know, if you wanted to fly it on a, on a separate system where it's not at a 12 channel, you can also do this and not, not use the canopy opening. But it's kind of cool, too. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back. Okay, so right now, we got the thrust vector and turned off here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and flip some switches here. And we got the thrust vectoring turned on. So you got your elevator thrust vector in there. You got your aileron thrust vector and your rudder thrust vector. And that's pretty much all the thrust vectoring does. Uh, most of the time you won't be flying with thrust vectoring on. You don't want to take off with it on. You don't want to land with it on. So you can turn it off for those situations if you choose to fly it on that kind of a setup. Okay? And then the other things are we pretty much have uh, full functional flaps here and leading edge slats, slow this thing down really well. Uh, the scale of this thing is amazing. It's just, the detail is absolutely amazing. The nav lights and the LEDs and everything built into this thing, is it's super, super nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take the canopy down here. I'm gonna show you guys retracts now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you the retracts here. Let me go ahead and put the, the flap up here. Okay, let's see if we can do this with one hand. It's so, super large here. There we go. Wingspan, just over 45 inches. So it's a pretty hefty EDF jet here. Uh, EDF jet technolo technology coming to this level is just absolutely amazing. I, I'm so honored to be a proud and proud to be a part of it with you guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys this retractor. Servo-less retracts on the rotary system once again. No issues with any kind of binding and stuff like that. Look at that, full closable gear doors. Uh, this is the reliability at the most here with something of this type of a ready to fly and plug and play jet that we can bring to you guys. Go ahead and take the wheels back down. There you go. Sweet. Let me go ahead and set her back down. So this is going to be available in your um, your ready to fly format if you choose to get it with the transmitter receiver. You can get a plug and play which is receiver ready, you can get it as an airframe as well. And uh, there's just a lot of other bits and pieces that go into this aircraft, but I think what you guys really want to do is see the flight review. So what we're going to do here now is go ahead and put her up in the sky here. Uh, beautiful sunny day here with some uh, really 
wacky crosswind, but let's fly here anyway. This is the FA-18 twin 70 millimeter made by Blitzar Sue Works and LX Models available at BananaHobby.com. My name is Pete. Thank you guys once again for always checking out these videos. See you guys in the sky. pilots with that I think we're gonna call it the day from here in uh, sunny Southern California we can't predict these winds that's happening over here as you can see from the flight it was extremely extremely bumpy I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the canopy down here before it blows the canopy straight off we had the airplane flip over upside down on the runway over here right before this flight and broke the bombs off and everything winds are just way too strong I can't wait to give you guys a second flight review of this beautiful FA-18 Super Hornet. This is available at BananaHobby.com. Um, wings fold down, lock into position, perfect. The performance is absolutely amazing. The, the, the high alpha is going to be incredible. I wish I could slow it down for you guys, just right on the deck, nice and slow flybys, but I just can't do it today. Um, with the with the wrap up, with the we're trying to get this video to you guys as soon as we can, so we're going to call this video part one for now. Um, this is going to be available in a few color schemes as well. It's going to be in your Diamond Viper and a uh, USS, I can't remember which, which other uh, Navy scheme it comes in, but check the website. There's going to be updated on them with the different schemes that it's going to come with. I just really, really love the performance of this FA-18 Super Hornet. My name is Pete. Thank you guys for checking out this flight review. I'd love to have you guys follow me on Twitter.com on uh, Facebook.com and on YouTube as well. I love interacting with you guys and talking about aircrafts and uh, just all about this fun stuff. What an incredible, incredible hobby. What a beautiful aircraft. I am uh, really honored once again to be a part of this and uh, to have something develop and this kind of progression and to bring it to you guys. Thank you guys always for your support. With that, we're gonna call it a wrap and we'll see you guys on the web and on a different day with a different flight review. My name is Pete, we'll see you guys in the air.